What is up, Scorpio? It's Tina from Trust and Truth Tarot. Hope you guys are all doing well. We are going to do your February 2019 general and or low forecast today. All right, let's get to it. Sorry I'm late, guys. I've been crazy, crazy busy lately. All right, so Scorpio, Scorpio, February 2019. If you are new to my channel, Scorpio, and you don't know how I do my readings, it is a nine-card spread. I do three cards for your recent past, three for your present, and three for your near future. I also clarify, do a bottom of the deck overview card and I'm gonna pull some oracle cards for you today just to get it popping all right Scorpio all right all right all right Scorpio, Scorpio. February 2019 recent past recent past for Scorpio okay uh oh Chariot reversed, Scorpio, four cups reversed, and the Knight of Swords. All right, talk about your present for the Scorpio. That's, you guys hear that? My toilet just started running for no reason. This building is old, it like does weird things. Sorry about that. All right, um, present energy for Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio, what's going on? What is this? Why is the two of cups reversed? What's happening, Scorpio? The moon? The world, okay, all right, all right. Near future for Scorpio, please. Near future for Scorpio. Three of Wands, Two of Wands reversed, and the Five of Pentacles, Dizam. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio, <clears throat> check me out, you got the sun, okay? This is a good omen. <clears throat> the sun is like being very happy, very joyful, blessings, okay? Kids are doing good. You might be dealing with a Leo, they're doing good. Um, so it is an overall energy of, of you're moving towards happiness, Scorpio. Now I see what's going on though. Y'all had to pump the brakes on a situation apparently, um, is what I'm looking at here. So, ha. Uh, okay. We had the chariot reverse. You could have been dealing with a cancer, cancerian energy. Okay. Um, eh, they are reversed. So it looks like that situation may have had some issues moving forward or could have been put to a halt. All right. Four of Cups reverse. Now, it looks like somebody probably came back around, Scorpio, either you or the other person, trying to offer some sort of apology or reconciliation, something like that, and that may or may not have been accepted. Although, I will say, sometimes when I see that Four of Cups reverse, it is the offer being reconsidered. So, you got... Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like initially something wasn't moving forward anymore. It was like done, right? It was put to bed. We're not doing this, yada, yada. And this could be in love. It could be in whatever, uh, friendship. It can be in your career. It doesn't really matter. Somebody offered you something. You were moving forward on something, and it stopped, okay? And then somebody came back around and may have been rejected before, but then... When the Four of Cups is reversed, we're like, somebody's going, well, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll reconsider it. And then it looks like it just went crazy, like, like really got back on track in a, like, fast, you know, if that makes sense. So, whereas before it was like, you know, you knew you needed to get away from something or somebody wanted to get away from you, you know, so you stopped it. But it's like you almost like you, you couldn't, you know, it's like that intoxicating feeling where it's like an addiction to, to some degree, you know, like, I just can't quit you. You know what I mean? Because then we have the Knight of Swords. We have air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio. But it's like it got right back on track times 10, you know, with a passion, like with a gusto. Okay, this is take no prisoners, all right? Fast moving energy. Uh, we'll clarify all this. Present energy, though, Scorpio. Why is the Two of Cups reversed? Okay, there's some sort of breakdown or breakup going on in a partnership. Now, usually the Two of Cups represents a soulmate, a love partner. Okay, and when that's reversed, I see it as a breakup. It's just something that's not going well or it has already ended in the present energy. It might have just happened for some of you guys or it might be like forthcoming and you know it. Um, and then we have the moon in the middle. It says Pisces, but y'all know what the moon is, right? That's secrets, things like hidden behind the shadows of the moon. Now I can flip-flop though because sometimes you see the moon and it's things being illuminated. So it could be that you found out a secret. There might be a big giant secret is what it looks like because it's right in the middle of your reading in the upright. I just feel like this big secret's happening. Some people might know about it, some people might not. You know, you might be finding some shit out, like you might have just found some shit out, something's going on. All right, we'll clarify. The world card, very good energy. The world is a great card. I love to see it in any reading, even if it's reversed. It's like uh, everything coming full circle. Now for some of you guys, the, the world is, you know, it's full circle, meaning that it's culminating, it's come to an end, okay? You're closing the chapter in one area of your life so you can move forward into something else. Others of you, the world represents like massive amounts of abundance. So you've got, 
all of the elements that you need essentially to um, do whatever you want. Okay, travel is indicated here, so some of you guys may be going on a trip, um, something like that, but the world is like, you got the whole world in your hand type of thing, you know, you can really, the world is your oyster, there's a lot of little euph euphemisms I could use there, but um, being very, very abundant, pros prosperous, you know, good, good energy, okay? That's in your present. Now, near future Scorpio, we have the Three of Wands, we have travel all over the place here, so there's definitely, and with the chariot reverse, maybe there was a trip you wanted to go on and you couldn't go, but now you can. With the sun, too, it could be going to somewhere sunny, okay? But now I've, I see travel for a lot of you, okay, is going to be going to be here. Um, and if that's the case, if you're planning on traveling, if you know what I'm talking about, it's good. Like, you're, it's a go this time. You're good to go. Travel looks good, okay? Um, others of you, though, it's a weird energy because I almost feel like you guys have two people hanging around like somebody who's really really fast and like the things are like picking up quicker than you ever would have thought they would have and then there's another person hanging around that you kind of are like phasing out of your life so that's gonna resonate it's gonna hit with some of you guys um it, you know and I don't want to necessarily call it third party because it's like you you ended a situation and then something new came in bam quick and then that really put the kibosh on the old situation or maybe it, like it's still just hanging around a little bit and so this new thing is a secret okay and that that could be that could be again we, we could be talking about love it could be a career though like you might have been like on your way out from something but not totally out of the situation and then something new came in and now you're seriously getting out but it's not phased out yet you know what I mean like you're still hanging on to that energy for some reason Two of Wands reversed. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, the energy's flip-flopped here. You have one thing, you're going forward, you know, and possibly in this partnership, he's got his hand on the two wands there, choosing not to fly solo, even though that may have been the plan. Like, you thought you were going to be single, but no. <laughs> you're not single because you had somebody else come in, you know, and it's almost a secret, even though you ended this other thing. So some of you guys have to choose to end something with the two here, the partnership, so that you can go forward with this new partnership, the three. It's like you, you leveled up. You graduated from the two to the three. Okay? Um, could be third party for some of you guys. But I don't feel like it was an intentional third party thing. I don't think like somebody went out to cheat on somebody. I think that um, somebody just happened to come in while something else was already on the outs. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it, you, you guys feel me. For those of you that's resonating with, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It wasn't like you meant to have two people at the same time, but it just kind of fell into place that way. Um, next we have the Five of Pentacles, though. Somebody's getting left out in the cold, all right? So somebody's going to be feeling a little bit impoverished as it relates to love. Mm -hmm. Like they're on the outside looking in. Now, Scorpio, this could be you, but it could be somebody around you for sure, all right? Um, also, though, I will say uh, financially, for some of you guys, watch your spending, okay? It's important. Um, I don't want you to be broke by the end of the month because it looks like you have some sort of trip or something you're trying to go on. And you, I want you to have money for that. So make sure you're, you know, your spending is in control, all right? Um, or you're saving up for possibly what might be a little bit of a rainy day. It doesn't look major, but just, you know, a little unexpected hiccup. Could be your car is having trouble too with the chariot reversed, okay? Let's clarify. So for Scorpio, why is the chariot reversed in the recent past? Woo, three of cups. Okay, so yeah, I was right. <laughs> now, now again, I got two storylines here. Um, it, it could be friendships, all right? It could be friendships. The three cups, definitely. That's, that's the girlfriends. You know what I mean? That's the crew, the squad. Somebody might be getting booted out from the squad. So that's one of the things. Now, obviously, we have the love triangle going on here as well. Uh, through, you know, third parties. Um, and like I said, it just feels like, it feels like somebody came in while somebody else was on the brink of being out, but they weren't quite out yet. You know, it's it's something like that. Four of um, Cups Reverse. Four of Cups Reverse for Scorpio. Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. For some of you guys, you may have left a water sign behind and you're going out with now a fire sign or a fire sign came back into your life and you're reconsidering it. Um, it Maybe the fire sign or the air sign that you just can't quit. Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Knight of Swords, you got a lot, see that's both, they're fast, fast, like something just came out of nowhere and like swept you off your feet, 
Like it literally, like you were like, what? Like your head spun. Okay. Knight of Swords, Nine of Wands reversed. Mm -hmm. You're letting your guard down. You're starting to trust somebody, Scorpio, or somebody's starting to trust you uh -huh, with some sort of secret. Yeah, because if this person's coming in and you already have somebody, they know. They know about that person or something like that, you know? You, it might be opposite, too. Like, you might be, you might have gotten involved with somebody that actually has somebody that they're ending things with, but they haven't quite ended them yet. So, therefore, it's a third party, but you know about it. You know what I mean? Mm, I'm going to do the third party situation this week for you guys. See what's going on. Yeah, two of cups, ten of pentacles reversed. Uh-huh. Could be a family situation. Um, divorce or something like that indicated. Um, could be that, you know, a breakup caused financial difficulty. Ten of pentacles is like stability and security in a relationship. You might have left somebody because they just were not bringing anything to the table. You got sick and tired of supporting them financially. And you're like, you know what, bro? I'm going to need you to be able to take me you to know, Applebee's once a month minimum. And they couldn't do it. So you were like, all right, you know what? He's going to take me to Applebee's. <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all. A moon. Why is the moon here? Pisces energy for Scorpio. The moon. Not even going to be Applebee's. It'll be Ruby Tuesdays because I did that bomb salad bar. Mm hmm. All right. Star reversed. Ooh, shit. Aquarius on the table. Mm hmm. You're hiding something, Scorpio. You're hiding the fact that you're not, this isn't what you wished for. You're not happy with the situation. You don't want to hurt the other person is what it looks like. That's why you're not breaking up with them. You're letting them hang around even though you have somebody new that's like, hey, Scorpio, Scorpio, hey, can I take you to Applebee's? You know what I mean? They're really passionate about you. Like, they want you. And you're like, fuck, because now you've got somebody hanging around. And you're like, I don't want to kill, like, I don't want to kill their dreams. I don't want to, like, devastate them, but I got this new person I'm really into. It could be a job, too. You know what I mean? And I, I don't really think so. We got <laughs> we got um, very few pentacles here, just a couple. Could be. But it's like something new started, and you didn't even, you had no control over it. It just happened. And you didn't have time to, like, close one chapter yet, you know. But I think you're doing that now. I mean, you've decided to, anyway. The world, why is the world here? For Scorpio in the present? The Six of Pentacles reverse, right? So, um, Six of Pentacles, it's all about breadcrumbing, okay? Everybody looks at this, not everybody, but a lot of people look at it as a card of generosity. That's what the textbook definition is, but I never did. I always looked at it as, you know, keeping people begging, begging for time, begging for attention, begging for money, begging, 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 right? You're breaking that cycle. You're not gonna beg anybody for shit anymore, Scorpio. You're like, you know what, bro? I got like, I got this like, nice little fire sign slash air sign coming my way and um i'm sick and tired of having to beg you to do stuff i'm tired of having to beg you to be with me or to be you know who you need to be to step up in the relationship so y'all are just like bye felicia there's the world honey don't let it hit you in the butt on the way out you know what i mean like that you're over it three of wands uh, in your future yeah you're just picking up the pieces and moving on i mean you, this is something that's been going on for a while the old situation you know, you had this person around. You gave them multiple chances, Scorpio. It could be that they did you, okay? So it could be opposite time. But, you know, for a lot of you guys, it's like you gave this person multiple chances. Or if it was work, like you really tried. You put an investment into this. You invested a lot of time, energy, effort. You really wanted this to pan out at one point. But now that this new opportunity is coming your way, you're just like, fuck it. You know, like you're walking away. And basically taking what you can and leaving the situation, you know. Because the fruit was never going to ripen enough to be harvested, you know, which wasn't going to be. Two of Wands reversed. The Queen of Wands, ooh, taking action and moving forward. Again, we have fire, though. Aries, Leo, Sag. So, yeah. It almost feels like when you try to leave a situation, they try to keep you. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am. I feel like either, any any situation doesn't really matter, but like if you quit your job and you say, well, I got this great opportunity to go over here, they're gonna be like, but wait, we'll pay you like X amount of dollars per hour or more. Or if it's a relationship, all of a sudden this person goes from being like sedentary and stagnant and not really caring about the relationship to like, like hold on, hold up, where are you going? You know, you can't leave me, don't leave me. Like they didn't expect you to ever leave. Five of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles for Scorpio. Seven of Swords. Okay, so yep, a lot of you guys, I got the Fool at the bottom. It's a new beginning, Aries. 
Okay, so listen, here's the thing, Scorpio. I'll, I'll, I'll give you just this heads up. Before it escalates to the point where it becomes a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky situation, try to put a kibosh on it. You know what I mean? Don't be dragging, don't be, don't be, um, you know, stringing people along. And, and, and if you think you're being strung along, Scorpio, absolutely do some investigative work. You guys are real good at that, you know? Um, but it almost feels like somebody gets left out in the cold because of dishonesty. Also, though, I will say with these two cards together, Scorpio, watch your money, okay? You need to be real careful this month with your purses, your wallets. Don't leave your keys in the door. Don't leave shit laying around, you know. Check on your bank accounts. Make sure there's no fraud. Just stuff like that because this is, you know, being out money-wise and this is somebody, this is a thief, all right? Somebody who's deceptive. So watch your coin, okay? Wow, uh, Scorpio, interesting month for you. All right, let's um, look at your love lives. Love lives for Scorpio. Holy cow. Well, good. I mean, you guys are happy, though. That's really, really good, you know? All right, let me see. Two majors at the bottom of both decks, too. That's crazy. All right. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. <laughs> I think y'all are already on that, right? Well, I know I'm late. It's like a week into the month, so y'all already been doing that. But that's, yeah, you know, it's like the fresh new beginning. It's like that, you know, that, that real tingly feeling you get at the beginning of a relationship. I see what you're doing, Scorpio. I see you. You can't fool me. All right, let me see. Oh, this is my new deck. I'm going to show you guys. It's Notes from the Universe on Love and Connection by Mike Dooley, and it's cute. It's real cute. Y'all see? Yeah, we'll see. Hold on. Okay. That was too many. Sorry, guys. They're, they're still brand new. I can't even, like, shuffle them because the cardboard is super thick, and they're glossy still. Okay, so it says, yeehaw. Cute, right? <laughs> okay. When it comes to choosing who will be in your life, I recommend valuing their yee-haw equality above all others. Have it your way. Special orders don't upset us, the universe. All right. So again, y'all y'all wished for this person to come in and it's that yee-haw. That's what, you know, like, like somebody that's got really knight of wands, knight of swords. Like they have like crazy abundance, crazy energy. It's like the other person was just sitting on the couch doing nothing not working, you know, whatever they were doing all day. And then you got this person that comes in and they have life, you know, they bring like life to the situation. So much fun and happiness and the sun is here and the three of cups, everybody's partying, drinking, you know, just having a good time. And that's what this person embodies. That's who they are. And that's why they're so attractive to you. But like they swept you off your feet or they're going to Scorpio is what I see. Okay. It's, it's not a love relationship. It's a job. Okay. So this boring old job that you're sitting at your desk rotting away, all of a sudden this thing comes in and it's like, wow, you know, you feel invigorated again to go to work. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. We'd love to have you here. A couple of things, guys. One, if you need a personal reading, my email address is trustandtruthtarot at gmail.com. I would be more than happy to set something up. Just shoot me an email. I will send you everything you need to book. Two, my website is down, so don't try to book on my website. It's not there. I pulled it down because I need somebody to uh, redo it. I'm looking for that. So if you know somebody that does websites, please, please, please uh, feel free to send them my way. Um, you know, so we could see what, what's going on here. I just need somebody that's good at that. I want something really cute and good. And I, when I did it originally, it was when I first started the channel and it was just like, you know, a crummy template. So I want to get something really awesome. Um, anybody, anyway, if you know somebody, please feel free to send them my email address. Um, three, if you could please like, share this video. Sharing would be so great, guys. Um, we're so close to 50K, so close. We're just like two seconds away. So I'm really excited to hit that milestone. Um, it does help me. My channel has been almost nearly demonetized, okay, completely. So I don't make any money off this channel, but you guys helping me grow will help, hopefully, me get back on track. I don't know what YouTube is doing or why they're doing it, but it's not just me. They demonetize a bunch of people, but, um, yeah, it's one of those things. So anyway, we need to see the value in tarot, right? And the way that we see that is by people subscribing to the channel to show that it's worth, it's advertiser worthy, <laughs> if that makes sense, okay? All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Y'all have a wonderful month and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.